Hi. Well, um, I did not find another Commodore MPS 801 printer. What I found is similar. This is a Comrex CR220. And guess what? <laughs> it's the same. I don't know how this came about that Commodore made these. Okay, it has it has a ribbon. I have, I remember, I picked this up from the freebie table at the World of Commodore. So, does it work? I have no clue. Oh. Well, it is. It is doing the test thing. It does sound like it's firing. But for the head is, although it is making it back across, it's, it is struggling. It is. So, what do we have here then? We have a ribbon. That. Initially, as I turn and turn in the direction that it says to turn, I don't see the ribbon moving. It's too bad because the ribbon, well I guess for obvious reasons, looks very unused. I'm wondering if I crank on it enough. I just gave it a little yank. I guess it's been sitting there for a while. Anyway, it looks quite fine. Now, do I have tractor paper to test any of these? Yes. But not here. Not right here. So here is... Well, it looks... Except for the coloring and the name on it, etc., it looks the same. Now, I'm wondering which came first, the chicken or the egg. I'm, I wonder if... I seem to remember this coming out after the MPS-801. I wonder if Commodore had had enough of trying to sell a bad printer, otherwise known as the MPS-801, um, and gave up on it. But the company, of course, that made printers, said, hey, you know what? We can still sell these. Maybe. But they do look... Uh, remarkably identical, and the internal parts, from what I can see, do look mighty identical. And this also has the Commodore serial port on it. So, I guess the next thing, and oh, and this ribbon, this ribbon is looking good. The ribbon that was in this one that's now in this one, because this one doesn't seem to want to fire, uh, it looks like it's been used a lot. They did have, I, um, this one does not have it, but they, um, some of the ribbons had a little cartridge you could stick in, and as the ribbon went by it would re-ink, and I think you could re-ink the re-inker. This does not have that. I haven't checked the other one. So, I need to look for tractor paper, which I know I have. I'm just not sure where. I am not. So, um, I guess I better go look. Because now I have three of these here. And yet, I still think there was others. 
I'm sure if I look back through the directory of my other videos, I'm just trying to look, that I did have another one or possibly two MPS-801s that I was looking at. Huh. Well, I'm not giving up. Anyway, I must go look for tractor paper. So, uh, welcome to the world of the MPS-801, the MPS-801, and the Comrec CR-220. All pretty terrible printers. Not, oh, sorry, very reliable, but, um, how would I put it? Um, they don't print, the print quality is not very good. Actually, you know, the first thing I ever tried to hand in at school was a, something to my electricity teacher. And I used my Commodore 2023 dot matrix printer. It too had a tractor feed. I think the 2022 did not have a tractor feed. I could be wrong. I think it had a tractor feed. Anyway, but it had the same character set as this. And the teacher was not sure he was allowed to take it. Now, was it because of the character set? No. He just wasn't sure it was fair that I hands in something that was printed. Oh, how the times have a changed. If you try and hand something in now, handwritten, except I suppose an exam, they'll probably just throw it back in your face. Anyway, so anyway, the, the teacher involved, I may have told the story before, I probably have. Uh, went and consulted with the vice principal to see if it was okay. And the vice principal decided that it was okay. Anyway, now I suspect if I tried to hand something in with a printer like this, they'd say, what kind of character set is that? What kind of crap is that? Anyway, I will look for tractor paper. We'll see what we have here. Thank you for coming. Bye for now.